don't, the reaction will continue if it finds more organic material. For how long? It seems that when all the rust gas settles into dust, then it is safe. Garrett, for what purpose would the Mechanists use these cultivators? Well, we know Karis has installed them in the masks of the servants. Yes. And the servants have been placed in the homes of the wealthy. Yes, the homes with the gardens. The plants there could sustain a reaction large enough to destroy everything. Yes, we must think of a plan. No, there's no time to think. We must go to the Mechanist Cathedral. The beacon you've heard about. You could find it. Try to activate it. To draw the servants to the cathedral. Then you must somehow get Karis to signal them to release the rust gas. You see, if I fill the cathedral with plants, enough to fuel a chain reaction, then it should cause the same effect we just saw. But it would take Karis with it instead of the city. Remember, the cathedral is sealed, airtight. If we can get into the Mechanist Cathedral, if you fill it with plants, if I can find, let alone activate the beacon, all without being detected, that's too risky. We'll be killed. Karis created these devices to destroy all that we know. And now they are in place. He needs only say the word. There is no more time. We must act. Are you too blind to see that? Your plan is suicide. I'll think of a better way. And I work alone. Diane, Larkspur, I need to speak with you. I am here against the wishes of the Keeper Council. I am here as your friend, Garrett. Listen. Victoria has begun an assault on the Mechanist Cathedral. No. I hope the glyphs are wrong. Face me yourself, man fool! Victoria! Garrett! Huh. I failed! This is not enough plant life to sustain the reaction. These mechanical beasts detected me. But there is one more thing I can do. Then it will be up to you. My good thief. Wait, Victoria, let's get. Victoria! He enough! Karis. Well, I guess she forced my hand. And if she just exploded into a tree, then I guess... Garrett and Victoria will never be together. But I... They were destined for each other. They were such a perfect match. I'm sad. Sabotage Karis' plan by using the Guiding Beacon to draw the servants to the Mechanist Cathedral. First, you must learn how to use the Guiding Beacon. Indeed. Don't let Karis find out what you're up to, or he won't trigger the servants, of course. And then, of course, get him to trigger it. Oh, get outside. <laughs> yeah. And then... Detonate the servants. Alright, so, Beacon. Learn how to do the Beacon. Set it up, activate it. Get the hell out, and then activate the servants, or have Karis activate the servant. The servants sounds pretty straightforward. Unfortunately, though, everything is going to be on high alert, so this is going to be a bitch. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to be fighting. I think I'm going to be fighting a lot of robots, so I definitely want more water arrows, a bunch more. In fact, I will take all of them. That's all the flash bombs I'm going to need. I guess I could use the frog beast eggs, because I'm pretty sure everybody's going to be on high alert, so there's, I think there's like zero point in being super stealthy. Gas mine, don't care. Invisibility potion, eh, eh, eh. Uh, 
I don't know. I can get an invisibility potion or a gas arrow. What the hell? I'll take the invisibility potion. It has a good utility use. Whereas the function of the gas arrow is already covered by the flash bombs. And other than that... I don't think I'm going to need to fall down anything enough to make it matter, but you know, what the hell? What the hell else am I going to spend my money on? Might as well get one. And... I don't know, moss? Sure. Uh, shit? Seriously? Seriously? Are you not? So, once again, we are met. And the woman of the woods, didst thou come here together? But lo, how easily evil is felled when the righteous hold the mace. <laughs> thou art transparent to me, Garrett. Even now I can see thou seekest to stop me, but there is naught you can do. My chamber resists all manner of infiltrations, even from a skilled man such as thyself. The servants hearken to my instructions only, and even now await my commands. Maybe I've waited over much. Okay, thine intrusion has been my cue to begin now the final preparations. May the world be ready for the builder's arrival. I fear you not, Garrett, that I have dispatched some of the builder's children to intercept you. Thou too will perish and trouble me no more. We'll see about that, Garrus. We'll see about that. God, he's so delightfully creepy. <laughs> I love him. Well, he certainly has a nice factory going on here. Right, it looks like no one's gonna come to this chamber. It seems like I'm safe. I mean, I even set off that alarm and nothing came. Bay A. Alright, so that will lead deeper in, which I guess is the only way I can go. Rolling machine. Well, keep on rolling. Instructions. Place source material into... Uh, basin on top of machine, insert steel plate into shoot on side of machine, push a button to activate machine, products will emerge at other end. Okay. But can I actually use this? Basin, insert steel plate. What if I'm gonna end up making something? Hmm. Uh, does this work? Damn it. Come back here. Okay, m make. It didn't work. No, I, th I think I'm probably supposed to come back here later. I'm probably gonna have to manufacture something. Yeah, okay, let's continue. Probably something to do with the beacon, I'm guessing. Oh, that's what I'm hearing. It's that gigantic gear up there turning. Factory Bay B. I don't even know what that says. S. Apps. Must be shorthand for something. Anyway, uh, let's uh, let's see what's in here.
Yes, come closer. Alright, it should come back in just a second. Or not? Where the hell is it going? It's out of hearing range. Oh shit. Okay, I think it's coming back. And now it's getting further away. Okay, what is it doing? Shit. Okay, now it actually is coming, I think. And now it's getting further away. Is it just going back and forth? It is. It's an interesting patrol path. Wait, there's another one. Alright, fuck this. I don't think it's worth trying to take them out. Alright, there's a lot of factory equipment that I think I'm going to have to operate. Amalgamating machine. I love amalgamations. Instructions, place source material. Okay. Yes, I'm going to have to do something with this stuff. Shortly. Very shortly. Something to do with the beacon, I think. It didn't work. The machine's broken. Well, I don't... So far, I don't see much resistance. Mostly just machines. And a couple of robots. Oh. One of the children fetched me today by order of Father Karras to visit him at the chamber in which he now cloisters. It was quite unexpected, as was the conversation which followed. I was able to speak with Father Karras through the slits in the door. He ordered me to find him some new street people to convert into servants. Respectful, I venture to ask him wherefore, since our supply of necrotic mutox, mutox gas canisters is gone and we hath no need for mindless slaves when the builder's children are such efficient workers. He told me that the children could not manipulate some things with their appendages as well as a human might, and I was greatly shocked to hear Father Karras make such a comparison. Nevertheless, I pressed on and inquired why did he s not simply ask us his devout followers to perform for him whatever tasks he might require of such a nature. At, at this, Father Karras became quite furious and bellowed at me through the door, demanding that I comply with his wishes and asking who I believed would be suitable fodder for servants if not beggars and the like. I was much afeared at his assailment, but then he stopped quite suddenly as though some truth had just occurred to him and without further explanation bid me never mind. To go back about my normal business. I should like to do so, but twas not long ago that this transpired and already I have been called off to some new new special duty by another missive from one of the children. I shall finish this account when I return. Yep, another instruction set. Bellowing machine. I did that for no reason whatsoever. Uh. 
Yeah, a wide open place that leads to a control panel at the center of an empty room. That's not suspicious at all. Hmm. All right. Bay E plans room. Factory Bay D. Why choose oh, the shit. sad villain, Fuck. Garrett? Scared the Why shit out of me, Karis. Of the witch woman. Yeah, just With you as aid, my plans could have been so much further along. Hmm. It would have been most advantageous. God, that was loud. <sighs> I believe there's something up there. It looks like a flash bomb. Only thing is, uh, how do I get up there? Ooh, there's a grate. Which means this will stick. <clears throat> Let's try that again. Never mind, it's just a scouting orb, which I don't care about. <clears throat> That's an interesting chamber. Hold on, let me see what this button does. Alright, so that's supposed to be plans room. Oh wait, I... Oh, it's not a button, that's just telling me where it's pointing to, okay. I almost wonder if I can just sprint around here. There doesn't really seem to be much to stop me. Oh, there's something. Hmm. Hey, little guy. It's one of the cute small ones. Alright, so the further I get in this place, it seems like the path behind me gets covered in robots. Alright, well it seems like there's nothing in the plans room. I see that grating up there. And I see the secret chamber. What is up here? <sighs> oh, it's the highway and the safe way too. Oh shit. The camera saw me. Yeah, it's, it's probably not. I don't think it's worth taking out every single Robux. I'm pretty sure I'd just run out of arrows if I did that. I think I'm just going to be able to run past a bunch of them. Is it? Is it looking at me? I can't tell if it sees me. Uh, it's still yellow, but it hasn't gone off. It's, what the hell is following me, but it hasn't gone off. I don't get it. Alright, whatever. I'm just going to go this way, then. If it goes off, it goes off. Nothing can really touch me. Again, I see the thief. Cease thy slitherings. <clears throat> yeah, whatever. Or perish. I have important preparations. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm fucked now. I accidentally fell down. It's more of a big, a big deal than I thought to get seen by the camera.
Okay, there we go. Got past the camera. All right. And now let's go down more elegantly. I think I might actually take this one out. Yeah, this one I think is worth taking out. Because it looks like I'm going to have to explore this room for quite a bit, and I don't want him seeing me. Or hearing me. Storage room one. This room looks so much like one of the chemical storage rooms in System Shock 2, like the first one you get to. This this is like the exact same setup. I wonder if it was actually a reference or if it just happens to look the same. I just remember there was a place where you entered a door, just like this, came in and there were a bunch of shelves on the right. And I think the left might have been kind of like sloped in and not boxy. So it's sloped just like this is, maybe? I don't know how well my memory's serving me there, but... This definitely makes me think of that first chemical storage room in System Shock 2. Huh. In fact, wait, are these actually chemicals? What are these? Flare mixture. Yeah, this... <laughs> that's gotta be a reference. It's like... Chemicals, again, it's a chemical storage room. For the most part. Alright, I'm definitely going to have to learn a lot to be able to put this stuff to use. Oh my god. What am I going to be making? Am I going to be making the the beacon? Iron chassis and copper stuff and gauges? Jeez. Steel plates. Bantam nodes, whatever that is. What? I just threw something. What did I just throw? Oh. Where did I throw it? There it is. It sounded like a mine. Actually, I think it made the exact same sound that a mine does. Uh, I thought I was about to get my ass blown up. Alright, that's everything. Oh, shit. Hi. I think they heard me. Oh my god. There are so many things here. Holy shit, look at that. There's something coming right behind me. Please pick this lock faster. Oh. Oh, come on. This is... This is totally gotta be... 
System Shock had to totally reference this, because this also looks like another chemical storage room. This looks like the one down in, uh, what is it, in engineering? You know, where we have all those coolant leaks in System Shock 2? Totally. Uh, hey, what's up? <laughs> See, it likes it. It giggled when I hit it. It's ticklish. Oh, damn it, I can't pick stuff up while I'm holding this. Signal bolt. Yeah, I think I'm going to be constructing the entire beacon. Alright, let me make sure I get everything. I don't want to be short apart. Damn it, I just threw a gauge. Isn't it funny the things you remember? Like, sometimes I forget what the hell happened in this game, like, an hour before. But yet I remember what the chemical storage rooms, at least some of them, look like in System Shock 2. Why do I even remember that? I don't know, but I do. Alright, I think that's everything. I'm probably carrying, like, 400 pounds of steel and equipment on me now. Alright, what's f what's down here? Oh shit, oh. And I turned around. Plans room. This place is very large. Alright, sounds clear. This is uh, quite the room he has here. Wow. What? What's that? Did you hear something? Distinguish more carefully. God, the noises they make are so creepy. Keep Just listen running. to that. Nothing is here. Pay better attention next time. They just like make these disgusting panting noises. Let me go. Let me go. Oh my god, it's like they're trying to escape. It's like their souls are crying out to escape the body or something. Ugh. Go to sleep. Um, can I lockpick it? Even though it doesn't actually have a lock? At least not one I can see. I don't know, I've done it in the past. Nope. Hmm, what was in those? To Brother Kelsus, regarding the proper usage of the Guiding Beacon, as thou knowest, the servants are controlled by the eight signal towers located on the roof of the cathedral. Normally these signal towers communicate instructions that I myself issue unto the servants from within my protective chamber. However, when the time comes to modify the servants, we will use these signal towers to transmit the guiding beacon instead. In my wisdom, I have made it easy to do this without necessitating difficult adjustments to the signal towers. Firstly, thou must get the guiding, uh, get the guiding beacon. Only one hath been manufactured, and I am controlling access to it by keeping it always with 
me. Inside my protective chamber, since thou art a loyal and industrious follower of Karis, if I am unavailable, thou hast my permission to manufacture a new one. The blueprints are stored in the plan's room. Ooh, that's where I am. Bringeth then the guiding beacon to the signal room, which is on the third floor of the northern apse. I'm not sure what an apse is, but alright, the northern apse. There thou wilt see the machine that produces the signal used by the signal towers. This machine hath two slots, signal slot A and signal slot B. At all times, the device which transmits my instructions must be kept connected to signal slot A. Oh my god. However, thou canst con uh, thou canst connect the guiding beacon to signal slot B. Do this at thy leisure, for twill not interrupt my control over the servants. Okay. Yet another step is required to activate the guiding beacon thou hast prepared. Only... <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Only when thou art certain that has, uh, thou hast my consent, thou mayest take this final step. Go to the signal towers. At the base of each thou shalt find a lever. Flip the lever from A to B. This will cause that signal tower to transmit the signal in signal slot B instead of signal slot A. The servants will hear the guiding beacon and begin their journey back to me. Here at Soulforge Cathedral. When they all arrive, thou must immediately switch the signal towers back to A so that I can give the servants further instructions, At the uh, as the servants cannot hear my instructions when the signal towers are set to B. Note, it is possible to expedite the process, as thou may recall from our discussion of the principles of redundant signal potency. My calculations indicate that thou needest only to set five of the eight signal towers to B in order for that signal to, to be now the dominant one. Alright, that's a lot to take in. Alright, so first thing, the blueprints are in the plans room, which is where I'm at, so, okay, got that, and I'm going to need to create it, got that. What is it about switching it from A to B? Alright, the device which transmits my instructions must be kept connected to signal slot A. However, you can connect it to signal slot B. Okay, but why would I want to do B over A? I don't know, whatever, I'll do that when I get to it. This is just what I was looking for. Now I've got a real plan. I will deal that. Uh, deal with that when I come to it. Look at it, those plans are so cute. They're so tiny. Well, there we go. From storage room A. Okay, well, I'm guessing it's all stuff from storage room 1 and 2, so I probably have everything. So, yeah, I think I just need to go through bellowing machine, rolling machine... Stealing machine. Yeah. Alright, I'll just do the first one. Alright, so what does this key go to? Any of these? Oh. Hello. Flare blue. Oh, I can make stuff for me? Sweet. Amalgamation machine. Is that just the item flares, though? I mean, I really don't need that. Wait, regulating round? What? I... Wh what the fuck is a regulating round? I have no idea what that is. Okay, don't care about mines. There's a book in that one. Okay, don't care about that. What the heck is a regulating round? Oh god, this is like a... a scientific paper. Uh, comparative power ingestion rates of immobile security units, a concise study of watchers and sentries by friend Gorick. Abstract. For the sentry, the act of focusing upon any foe, or the casting of projectiles, large or small, is known to cause said sentry to swiftly uh, consumeth its fuel resources in abundance. Therefore, sentries, in most instances, have been placed in conjunction with watchers. 
whose workings doth require comparatively insignificant fuel resources whilst demonstrating superior capabilities in the detection, in the detection of trespassers. Whilst this pairing doth seem to create a seamless overlap of function and power ingestion, in truth the inherent delay of the watcher hath been known to compromise the security value of the sentry. This study, then, seeketh to combine the advantage of both watcher and sentry, indeed to create a sentry innovation which hath the faux discrimination abilities of a watcher, yet consumeth fuel resources of comparatively small quantities. Summational findings. Thus far our efforts have focused on the management of sentry power ingestion levels. We hath, no cr we hath created servants that remain functional at all times, without the need for refuelment, however, they must then be fueleth continuously from a power resource external to themselves. Soulforge has proved to be an ideal research area, research area for testing these sentries, since power resources there be aplenty. Unhappily, we hath made a little progress toward a model that, function that functioneth extensively outside such convenient circumstances. So what, does that mean I'm going to encounter super bots within these walls or something? Anyway, so yeah, I guess I'll just keep exploring around and next time I hit, you know, a storage bay or some sort of a manufacturing machine, I'll check my plans. Hello there. Thought you could hide from me, did you? You were wrong. Okay, I've not been here. What is this? Northern Apps. Alright, west of the upper areas, which I don't believe I need to go to right now, so I'm just gonna loop around here. Get back to manufacturing. Tis my gift to the builder, Soul Forge Cathedral, and all it contains. It will be the very center of the builder's paradise. Surely this strikes wonder into your heart. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. I love it. Ah, oh, crap, I can't walk on any of that with me without making tons of noise. That's oh, all metal plating. Damn it. Fluid vapor interchange. My ear itches. Oh, that feels good. Oh, yeah. Ah, there we go. The itch has been scratched. Alright, how many moss arrows do I have? Seven? Nah, I don't want to waste it on this. I'm just gonna walk, whatever. Wait, is that thing... Is that thing awake? It looks like it's charging or something. I'm not sure. It's not moving. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's awake. Okay, whew. Made it past. Hmm, what's up here? Oh, it's a nice rubber walkway.
That could come in handy. Definitely something on the other side of that. Somewhere. Alright, so I think all of the manufacturing is around here. Oh shit, that's one of the robots. Wait a minute, I think... Shit, that's one of the machines I need, isn't it? Oh, it is. I think. Hold on. Alright, factory bay D. Factory bay A, factory... Yep, I'm gonna need to come in there. Alright, but I don't need to do that yet, so... I'm just, I'm just going to do it in order and worry about it in order. No, not that thing again. It doesn't make any sense, thief. No, no. What is that? It's, it's nothing. It can't exist. Alright, we're back to here. I'm just gonna run. Alright, so first step. The bellowing machine in factory base C. Right there. Which is this? No, that's B. <clears throat> Alright, this should be the bellowing machine. Right, I think so. Put the signal bolt through the bellowing machine and factory base C. Put it through. I put it into the funnel and all right, that's it. All right, signal bolt. And there it is. Um, can I... Oh, I guess I just drop it. And done? Is that it? Well, would you look at that! Stage one piece. I do only need to make one of these things, right? Right? Because I do have a lot of parts. I just need one guiding beacon, don't I? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it definitely is just one piece. Because I know in one of the things he mentioned in the guide... Hold on. Yeah, I'm thinking of the eight signal towers. Alright, so I... Yeah, I just need one guiding beacon. Well, while I'm doing this, let me see if I can figure out what the... F this... Where is it? 
The weird blueprint. The guiding round or whatever it's called. A regulating round? Yeah, let me see what this thing is. Okay, it's in Factory Bay D. Which is somewhere up there. Alright, so that's pretty far down. The list of things to do. Okay, so what's next? Oh my god, where is it? I have so many things in my inventory now. Did I skip it again? Wait, what the fuck? Jesus! In one act, man will end all human suffering and clear the path for the builder to walk again on Earth. History will move forward. My tireless children will build in his name, creating advancements beyond our understanding. Now is the dark time before the days of light. Why dost thou oppose me? That scared the shit out of me. I was just staring down at the icons in the inventory in the bottom right and not paying attention to anything in the world and then suddenly it sounded like something was right in my face. Oh, Jesus, Karis. Calm down. Okay. Alright, done. Use the rolling machine in Factory Bay A. Alright, back to the main chamber. Alright, I gotta take them both out. Or at least I should. Alright, here we go. This should be this one. One down, one to go. Alright, rolling machine. Uh, and this is the rolling machine, perfect. I'm sure using this is pretty simple. Place it into the basin on top of the machine. And place a steel plate into shoot on side of machine. Uh, where's the shoot? Damn it. Fuck. Alright, this should make it pretty easy. Okay, now we've got a free reign of the place. Let's get that crap out of there. Alright, stage one. Stage one, stage one, stage one. There we go. And then... Said feed a steel plate into the chute on the side, but I don't see a chute. What chute is it talking about? I don't see one. Alright, I guess that's it. Push button, activate machine. Alright, where's the button? Oh no, there it is. Bingo! Stage two. Alright, ma- Oh, god damn it, manufacturer regulating round. Damn it. Factory bay D. Alright, regulating round. Alright, so factory bay D is my next stop, which is either there or there. Oh, 
There we go, factory bay D, this side. Assume it's this way. Um, oh, it doesn't even tell me where I am. Okay, thank you. Very helpful map. Very, very helpful. Alright, I think this is it. Yep. Uh, Alright. I... I don't think I can... Oh, shit! <sighs> ah, shit. When was my last save? This time I just saved it. Okay, I did. Alright, let me see if I can do this. I don't think I can. Nope. Doesn't work. Let me try this. <sighs> oh shit. Alright, they don't know where I am. On my fucking arrows, I can't. I can't use them up. I need more. I mean, do I have anything that can blow them up? <laughs> I do have mines. All right. That actually worked. Yes, come back this way. Alright, fuck you. Just, just fuck you. I'm just gonna do my work and ignore you. You don't exist. I'm just gonna hang out by this fire, alright? Alright, sounds good. Bay D. Alright, linking machine. Engage in Bantam node. Linking machine. Fuck you. <laughs> Really? God damn it. I don't... How the fuck do you fight those things? I need to kill these. I have to kill them. Okay, that might have actually done it. Hi, right, please don't look at me. I'm in the dark, I'm in the dark, I'm in the dark! Yeah, that one's coming right for me. Um, okay, whew. Alright, 
Alright, play source materials into shoots, one material per shoot on side of machine. <laughs> Signal the friend standing. No, I'm just gonna do it myself. Alright. Gauge and Bantam node. No. No. No, no, no. Okay, well, I've used up almost all of my flash bombs and all of my mines, and I'm also stuck in a chute. Uh, uh, there we go. And there might actually be an undetonated mine around here, I'm not sure. But, the important thing is, I have this fucking place to myself. Finally. Never mind, hold on. Now I have it to myself. Alright, I believe I need to hit that lever up there. Nice, good job, Garrett. This time, do it with 100% more competence. Never mind, that's not even a lever. Um, how do I activate this thing? Oh fuck, this is the wrong machine, god damn it. No, no, I want to pick them up. I need the linking machine, I think. Alright, same instructions. Is this the linking machine? Uh, yes. It is the linking machine, isn't it? <clears throat> yep, all right, gauge and bantam node. Okay. And then I'm supposed to do something to act- oh, it must be up there. And then it should come out right there. Uh, how do I get up there? Oh. Where's the control panel for that shit? Uh, platform. Eh, whatever, I'll just parkour it. Actually, I don't think I can make it. No.
well shit. Ooh, is that more storage? Hot damn. I'll take it. If I can find my... Here we go. You know what, I just realized, this is going to be a really long mission, and I think I still- yeah. <laughs> I still have quite a bit left, and it's almost midnight. I've got to go to bed. Because if I keep playing till the end of the game, I'm probably going to be here for at least another hour, and then I'll finish at like 1 o'clock in the morning or something. So yeah, I'm actually going to end this episode here. So, I hope you have enjoyed so far, and when I come back, I will finish the game.